Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. Um, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add a new user in uh, Kali Linux. I'm going to be showing you how to um, dump these uh, user hashes. And um, I'm also going to be showing you how to pass these hashes um, into password crack into all sorts of uh, hash cards. Uh, and I'm also going to be showing you how to use a custom uh, word list in order to uh, do all these things. So, uh, first, without wasting much of our time, so let's try to create a new user. So, I'm going to be using a pseudo add user. So, I'm going to call the uh, user, I'm going to call the name uh, user ctl uh, enter. Okay, so it's asking for password, so we're going to be using the password as the password. So, so full name, uh, let's call it to use um, user, then, uh, enter. So we leave this username by pressing enter. 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 So is the information correct? Yes. That's why I'm answer. So we've succeeded in creating a new user for this Kali. To confirm this, um, let's try to dump the uh, user from the database. So we'll say we use the command uh, get password. Uh, okay. So this should be a list of all the users on this Kali limit. Uh, but what if we actually want to get the normal users? So we go ahead using get then, uh, password. So it's one calibre is uh, 1000. So the normal user is usually from the user ID 1000 to 6000. So go to user ID, enter. Okay, sorry about that. So, my bad. So, okay. so now this is the list of all the users on this particular PC. We have the Kali, the user, and we have um, other three users, one which is the CTS set. We have the completed forum and we have the user CTS, which is just the new user we just created. So uh, the brief explanation about um, what this is. Uh, the first name here, user uh, ctf, is the uh, username, which is the user ID we are using, which is uh, the uh, user ctf. Uh, this x represents uh, the embedded, the, the encrypted uh, password, which can be located in the etc uh, directory. The first uh, number here, the 1003. Stand for the user ID for this particular user. Then the other one zero zero three stands for uh, the group user ID. The computer tech forum user that is the full uh, name of that user, and we have the directory of the user, and we have the login shell for the user. So without wasting much of our time, let's go into uh, the etc folder to uh, dump the ashes so that we can proceed from there. So I'm going to use um, cd etc. Okay, I'm in the etc folder so I can ls to list to see all the uh, item listed in the etc folder. So we're going to be looking for the uh, file name shadow. So I'm going to cut into shadow. Okay, um, so the shadow file contains the list of the password hashes. So you can see the hash for the uh, root user. So we can see the hash for the uh, CTF set, and you can also see the hash for the computer tech form and the just user we just created right now. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'll copy this. Okay, copy this. All right. So 
so I'll open a new terminal. Um, I'll open an editor. You can use any editor. You can use the VI. You can use the mouse pad. So, uh, but I'm going to be using uh, the leaf pad. So I'll say leaf pad. Okay. This open up the uh, editor. So paste uh, the password hash right in the editor. So let's name that. Save it. So we'll give it a name. We'll give it um, user ctf hash. Okay. User ctf hash. I'll call it dot txt. Save file. So I'll save it on my root folder. Yeah, save it on my root folder. Save. Okay. Done that. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create uh, I'm going to create a custom word list uh, which I'm going to run against this hash. So I'll go to new. Okay. So I'll just copy a random uh, word list from my previous word. So I'll go. Let's go to my um, folder. Let's open the file manager. So from the file manager, I could um, access my word list. So this is a simple word list. So I'll copy this. This is just one of the uh, word list I used previously. So I'll go to the new. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So I'll paste this. Oh, sorry about that. User ID. So let me create a new one. New one. I'll paste this right here. So I'll make sure password is in the word list because that's what the password is. If the password is not in the word list, you won't be able to get um, your hash crack. So I've added the correct password. So I'm going to save this. So I'll save this to let's call it. Uh, User password uh, txt. I'll save this to same uh, root folder. Okay, so I can close this and I can close this. So, so I can close this and I can also close this. Okay, so. Uh, next thing, I'll open a new um, terminal. Uh, for easy understanding, I created a little uh, notepad document which I'm going to include uh, in the uh, description uh, box below. So you can also, I'm going to also uh, include the download link to this particular document. So uh, what we're going to do next is. Um, this is the uh, synopsis for uh, the Ashcat, uh, pseudo Ashcat, uh, the attack mode. Uh, the uh, This is the attack mode. We also have uh, the kind of uh, attack you're using. So if you're attacking uh, a window operating system, all you need to do is uh, come right over here and um, try to locate uh, the number corresponding to the kind of um, hash you are trying to attack. Uh, so in this case, we are trying to attack uh, a Linux uh, operating system. So we're going to be using the uh, SHA-512 Unix, the 1008 uh, Android. That's for the M. And uh, we have the cracked password here. As uh, okay, you can see here is the name. Uh, you would like to output to you would like your output to be so that should be the name we like to store our cracked uh, hash into. We have the ctf password.txt that should be our hash, and we have the word list that is the word list we are running our hash again. So what we're going to do right now is uh, use this same command. So I'll just copy this. Paste this right here. So what we need to do is edit our parameters. 
So we are using attack mode zero, which is the standard mode of attack. If you go back, you can see it's straight. The zero attack. You can also use the combination, the brute force, the hybrid, um, and uh, other attack mode listed here. So I'm going to leave this. So I will leave this at uh, 1,800 plus. I'm, I'm trying to crack uh, a Unix uh, hash. So this I'm going to change this to another name where our crack password will be. So I'll call it a um, user. Ctfcraft.txt. So that will create a new file called uh, usercraft.txt. Uh, the this is the hash. So I'm going to supply our hash to this called the uh, user. Uh, the hash we created ctfhash is the name. And the last one is our word list. So I'm going to edit this also. User CTF word list. Yes, I think that is correct. CTF word list. So we'll run this against hashtag values and uh, supply words. So what we need to do now is to wait for hashcard to process uh, these hashes again the word list. Okay. We can see it. Uh, you can see it minimum password 0, maximum 456. Uh, we have an um, applicable uh, optimizer 0 bytes and all this. So, what we have to do is just wait for Ashka to process uh, this document. So, if you're using uh, the uh, if you're using a GPU, it's much faster than uh, using a CPU. I'm using a CPU in this, uh, on this attack. Subsequently, I'm going to be uh, releasing a video on how to um, use hashcard uh, with the GPU. Okay, good. We have, uh, as you can see, we have a session hashcard T2 cracked and uh, other information. So what we need to do now is uh, go into LS into our root folder and locate the uh, user ctf craft that is our output folder so let's try okay this is it so i'm going to open this document to find our craft our file so user sorry craft uh, user ctf craft okay good oh sudo we expected to use administrative privilege. Okay, so you can see it. this is the hash we supplied, and this is the password. Please, if you like this uh, video, please make sure you subscribe and uh, remember, please do not hack anyone. This is for educational purpose only. Thank you. See you.